I didn't actually know the details of what happened with all of her relationships. Just homesick. We were both homesick when we did MMC too, remember? <laughs> I mean, we were so small town, we didn't know anything about <laughs> anything. I mean, like, nada. He was her first love. It's the Brit and JT kiss we've been waiting to see as the much-talked-about biopic, Britney Ever After, makes its lifetime debut. For Aussie actress Natasha Bassett, who plays the pop star, it was Britney's private toxic drama that made playing her so much fun. I was telling someone that I've got my bitchy attitude on all day today because every scene is, there's a lot of fighting. <laughs> including Justin and Britney's much-publicized breakup after Spears' reported affair with dancer Wade Robson. Justin, it's not what you think. Wade? Something going on with Wade? It's not like that. You and me, we're it's done. It's not like that. I think everybody out there is still, like, wishing that they get back together. My inner child's like, yeah, they're gonna get back together at some point. So I'm hoping that that happens, too. And there was a reported post-breakup dance-off between Britney and Justin. We were there when the cameras rolled on all of it. And right there on the club sidelines, a not-so-happy Jenna Dewan, pre-husband Channing Tatum. This is before she was really known. She was a backup dancer for NSYNC. Um, she started dating Justin Timberlake after the breakup with Britney Spears. What is that? It's your new dance partner, Banana. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Britney's iconic MTV performance with that albino Burmese python will also be featured, as well as her 2004 wedding to dancer Kevin Federline. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. I hope she enjoys the film and is happy with what we've done.